So we've got a question from Dennis. Uh, Dennis has a 20 foot uh, boat and uh, he asked, Jeff, I've got a 130 horse Yanima outboard and I'm rewiring my boat and I'd like to know if I should use a battery isolator. Uh, my boat has a vol voltage regulator um, alternator and it's 50 amps. Please let me know. Great question. We get this all the time. Um, technically, yes, but practically, no. I tend to avoid mucking around and changing the electrical wiring on an outboard. I think the beauty of an outboard is that it's standalone and it shouldn't be tampered with. That's what makes outboards so great. Um, they're predictable, they're not customized, it's the way it is, and then you can have a technician that knows everything about that engine, that is trained on that engine, and we're not modifying that engine for our own use. And I think that's the beauty of an outboard. So my advice with outboards is, don't muck with it. Leave it the way it is, because the problem is you might play around with it, but then another technician or another boater might not understand, and then that's where the bills gets out of control. So to use a battery isolator, you would need to intercept the alternate output and run a new wire outside and remove the daisy chain wire between the starter post and the alternator post, and then run a new wire to the battery isolator and then from the battery isolator to two of your batteries. Even when I say it, it sounds complicated. If it didn't sound complicated, it should. And the reason why I avoid doing that, and I'm like, I don't want to touch an outboard. I want the the warranty, I want the techs that work on it for them to know exactly what they're dealing with. So when I want to share a charging voltage and I have an outboard, what I do is I use instead a battery combiner or a DC to DC charging converter. But I do not recommend for reasons of keeping it simple, not that it's not doable, it is doable, but it's not worth it. We got to make our boats easier and simpler to troubleshoot and to maintain. Hence, your outboard should be stay the way it is, connect it to your starter battery, and between your starter battery and your engine battery, install a battery combiner instead. So that was a really good question, and thanks for asking, Dennis. Thanks for watching this video. Also, we appreciate the feedback. If you've got further questions or ideas on content, post them down below. Remember, sharing is caring, and that's how we all learn. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.